How's everybody doing tonight? So we're going to have a good time tonight. Welcome to JWT's Gay Pride Day 2013. Um, so in, in respect to all the guys and gals that now can like share you know, benefits and retire benefits and all of that, I want everyone here to stand up. I want everyone to stand up. Now, why are you standing up? Because it's such a big deal that I think we need a one-minute dance party. What's up? One-minute dance party? DJ Moose, hit it. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. One minute dance party. Let's loosen up. I see Jason getting into it over there. Steve, come on, JWT. <laughs> All right. Woo, give it up, give it up for yesterday. It's a big deal. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's how, that's how, that's how different it does it. We start the party with well a party. Done. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our panel. We're just going to kick it off. You guys got mics? I have to say that there is a level of caution that needs to be taken by kids who are coming out. I was really afraid of rejection. You know, I was afraid of coming out to my friends and having them say, you know, oh, my God, you're a faggot. I don't want to hang out with you anymore. And you know what? It happened. These people that I thought were really my really good friends from college started to drift away. Well, now the average coming out age is 14 years old um, and getting younger and younger. Uh, and unfortunately, one out of every four kids who comes out below the age of 18 is being violently removed from their homes. Growing up, I didn't feel that I couldn't be black or I couldn't be female, but in many ways I felt like I couldn't be gay in a lot of places. It's, you know, it was, it, was, it was a tough, the rejection part is really tough. The way you could counteract that is by getting in touch with the community, finding out what resources are out there before you come out. So the Hit it, DJ Moose. open you are about who you are in every way, no matter what it is, from sexual orientation to what disease you may have, to the feelings you're going through, to the problems that you're up against. Um, it's, 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 it's cliche, but the truth will set you free. I think education on the subject is the most important thing that we can do right now in our homes, in our schools, in our youth groups, in any organization that there may be another gay kid there or anything like that we need to educate that it's there's nothing wrong with it it's not a choice this is the way that that person is even if i tried even if i wanted to if i am in love or romantically involved it's with a person has nothing to do with gender or with the way that they present themselves or whether they're completely associated with being a woman or a man because I'm speaking to a person, more important. A gay pride week and pride around the country is such a bigger deal than just people coming out and saying they're proud to be gay. I think it's we, we stand up and say that we're proud to be people. Mm -hmm. 